The UK is preparing to test a new supersonic stealth drone seen as the next generation of frontline bomber named after the Celtic god Taranis. The unmanned aircraft can evade radar and select its own targets. But as our chief Sarah Firth reports now, experts are nervous about the beginning of robot wars. It can fly faster than the speed of sound. It can deploy its own weapons and it can go deep into enemy territory. Now, this is the new British super drone, as it's known. This has been under development uh, for many, many years now, costing hundreds of millions of pounds already. But it's thought that this revolutionary new super drone is going to be taking its maiden voyage over the next couple of weeks. That's what's expected. Uh, now, military chiefs have said that there's been billed as the future of the Air Force. But experts have warned that this could open the doors to a whole new type of warfare. There's concerns about robo-warfare where machines that are able to launch their own attacks could attack humans. Uh, and of course a lot of controversy that always surrounds the use of drones as well. But let's deal then with the here and now because the controversy surrounding drone warfare has been highlighted recently when the UN launched an investigation into civilian deaths caused by the use of drones. Now, assisting the UN in their research is a team from Goldsmiths University of London, and I'm joined by one of that team now, Professor I.L. Wiseman. Hello. Thank you very much for joining us today. Um, this new technology, a lot of talk about it, a lot of excitement, but a huge number of unanswered questions that go along with those developments. You're taking part in this investigation now. We haven't even really got questions answered over the legality of these attacks, and yet we're seeing technology sort of leapfrogging over the law at this point. Sure. I think that what uh, the fear is, is that we are seeing a de facto legislation by practice, i.e. the modes of warfare actually creating the law of war. The problem of the law of war is it always lags behind the technologies of war. Of course, technology moves much faster than the laws of war and the technology changed the way in which we conduct our wars and especially a kind of a new type of attack that we've been seeing in the last decade that is called an extra ju juridical uh, assassination uh, and of course this is really what your investigation is hinging on is gathering that all-important data isn't it absolutely in uh, the forensic architecture project at goldsmiths what we look at is the nature of war in an urban area now most drone attacks are uh, launched on inhabited area, areas with a lot of civilians, where civilians and militants are uh, entangled. And the numbers are very difficult to establish because both Israel and the United States would consider every uh, man over a certain age, sometimes 16, sometimes 18, as a militant by definition. We know it is not true. The details of that investigation, the results expected uh, towards the end of the year in October. Thank you for joining us today to talk about Britain's new Steve Drain and of course all the unanswered questions that go along with that.